Hello everyone, in this video we will be deploying a smart contract by using hardhat ignition which is the new version of hardhat so if you don't know how to do that we will be doing it by deploying a contract to phantom testnet so create a project folder on your computer and open the command line on it and here we will first install a few packages npm install force hardhat we will install and eaters we don't need it because we are not going to be connecting our smart contract to a, to a front-end website but in any case you know let's add eaters and dot emv we will use it and you know i will just copy the name of the full name of the packages because they are a bit long so the first one is the hardhead toolbox and the second one this one is important hardhead ignition okay so let's install those packages so we have installed the packages now we can initiate the hardhat project by saying npx hardhat in it and just say yes to all questions and it will be a javascript project yes now we can open the project let's first clear up the console we can open the project in vs code and here let's first create our project now let's say token.sol just to make everything simple Let's grab everything here, paste inside the token, but of course we are not going to be needing anything inside. Use this. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Use the same version 0.8.24. And let's say contract lock. No, let's say contract token. And let's create two variables, string token name. And also let's specify a a cap for this token so let's say token cap and let's create a constructor so that we can we can assign some values to these two variables and let's say string memory name and what else you in underscore cap and let's say token name is equal to underscore name and token cap is equal to underscore cap. That's it, our contract is finished. And now we of course need to we of course need to add a few more things to this hardware config chest because if you are gonna leave it like this, we won't be able to deploy our token to a test to a test net. So what we will add, we will add this. But let me show you what we are adding. We are Firstly, adding these two import uh, statements. In the second, in the first one, as you can see, we are importing hardhead toolbox, but it's not enough. We need to also import uh, hardhead ignition on this file so that we can use this hardhead ignition uh, to deploy our contract to testnet. And then we are using uh, .env package because we will be storing these two variables private key and provider url inside our .env that's how you should do every time uh, that's what you should do every time when deploying a smart contract that's why we are doing the same here and now let's copy this networks object paste it right under solidity version and that's it that's it so i named as we will be deploying our contract to phantom testnet i named it as phantom test you can name it anything else it will be fine. Let's do this. We are finished with the hardhead config. Now let's create the .env. And where is my key series? Yeah, there is it. Let's paste it here. So this is the private key of my MetaMask account, which is now, let me show you, yeah, this one. Uh, this MetaMask account, this, uh, if you don't know how to get the private key, you just need to click on the account details, show private key, and it will be fine. And if you don't have Phantom Testnet tokens, you can again get it by going to Phantom Fawcett Phantom Network, request test, test FTM, and again, it will be just fine. And yeah, let's save this. And I guess right now we just, what is left, hardware config is complete, dot .env is complete, ignition. Okay, let's now copy this. We need to create an ignition file so that we can deploy this token contract because the existing file will deploy log contract, not token contract. Okay. So now let's say token JS. And inside the token JS, uh, we don't need these 
but I will see here build, build model statement can stay it's an import statement so module exports build model it's not lock module it's token module okay and we don't need these two variables and then let's name this as token contract and let's copy this and paste it here so m contract lock it's not lock it's token now this is the name of the contract that we have it's token and yeah we we, we are not going to be passing any value to this contract so we can delete this third parameter and inside these square brackets we will pass the values for the constructor so the constructor is receiving one string and one uint so it means we can pass a string the token name i will name it uh, with my hometown sloppy token and a, a cap let's say i have a hundred cap and so yeah that's it you know it's finished now let's say mpx hard hat file it's done now let's uh, mpx hard hat ignition deploy and we need to again say ignition modules we are now like uh, referring to ignition folder and then the subfolder modules and then we can specify which file we want to use so that we can deploy the contract that we want so we will use token file here the so that we can deploy the token contract here so we'll see token js and to where we will deploy so we will deploy it in the phantom test net so we will specify network here and phantom test because we have named it as phantom test inside our hardware config where is it yeah now if i press enter it should work let's press yes our token contract is deployed this is the token contract address so that's how you deploy a a smart contract to to a testnet by using hardware ignition see you next time bye bye